in this video we are going to build an amphibious a powered rc car slash rc boat so let's jump right into it hey guys welcome to skyclan rc this channel is all about building crazy radio controlled machines if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and make sure to hit the notification bell for latest updates so today i have an a powered amphibious rc car fused to an rc a boat so as the name A-Powered, it uses some sort of uh, thrust generated by some power plants in order to propel it, maybe the car or the boat. Building this was quite simple, I just used some uh, waste apron pieces lying around, cut out some rough measurements and glued them all together. I applied some excess glue to the inner portion of the joints to avoid any water leakages. Also I taped all the joints. So once the basic skeleton was done, I had to check whether if it floats or sinks in the water. So I just dumped it into a bucket of water. Yeah, that's the only source I have at home and it did not sink. So I can proceed with adding up the electronics now. So the main thing that's gonna power up is uh, the two propellers and the motor. So I'll be using a coalless DC motor. I'll be using two coalless DC motors with uh, 45 millimeter clockwise and counterclockwise propellers. Uh, there is a reason behind using clock and counterclock because I don't want to have any sort of unnecessary torque by using same set of uh, either clock or counterclock I don't want a boat to tilt around and fall just because of the torque. So it's better to use a clock and counterclockwise pair. And for the transmitter and receiver, I'll be using an infrared module. Uh, I salvaged it from one of these uh, toy helicopters. Even you, you guys can do it. It's it's quite cheap and uh, you can remove it and uh, use it for your uh, DIY projects. So I salvaged it from one of these helicopters. And also the transmitter of the same helicopter. And uh, these helicopters had uh, inbuilt a single axis gyro, so it'll be a good thing for the boat to stabilize itself without having any sort of vertical stabilizer or the rudder kind of thing. And also, it's powered by a single cell lipo battery, it's a tiny little uh, 200 milliampere lipo battery. Uh, it was also taken from the same helicopter. And uh, for the motors and propellers, uh, it's quite cheap. I'll, uh, you can buy it from Amazon. I'll just drop a link of both international and Indian websites. Uh, you can just buy it from there. So once I got all these electronics, I had uh, literally no idea of where to mount the motors. It was just a rough idea. The motors are mounted uh, on just a single piece of uh, Depron and I made sure the motors are far off from the center line of the uh, boat because uh, I wanted the boat to have a proper turning moment. Uh, more the leverage, more the moment. Hence, I can uh, do some crazy turns at the end. And then just solder the motor wires to the receiver and uh, that's it. That was done with the electronics part. And uh, one thing you know to make sure that uh, if your receiver has a gyro built in, then you have to make sure that the motors are connected properly to the receiver. If you tilt your boat to the right, the right motor to speed up in order to compensate for the turn. So the gyros has to automatically compensate the uh, disturbance. If you don't go in the right direction, just switch the motors or the wires of the motor. That's it. And that's it with the build. I did not want uh, the electronics to fail because of some water damage. So I just uh, hot glued the entire receiver and uh, enclosed it with the Depron uh, pieces. The boat was almost done and I added these two wheels which uh, spin independently. I just took it out from uh, some old uh, toy RC cars and then added a shaft. So now it can uh, move on the ground without any sort of friction and uh, hopefully on the water as well. Also added some uh, vinyl sheets in order to make it look good. So that was pretty much about the build. It was a quite simple build. If you guys uh, want the uh, build plans, uh, please do let us know in the comment section below. We'll uh, soon post out in our forums. So that's pretty much about the build. So now let's take it out and uh, sail the air powered boat.
uh, this thing is going to turn just by using differential thrust. Uh, the thrust on each motor is going to vary and hence you are going to get a turn.